Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man, I have been busting a hump getting the man cave here together, and, um, you know, I, I listen, listen, man, I, I, I want to look good, man. You know, my man Daniel, uh, Daniel Hernandez, he's going to be coming here. Um, I believe E2 Blue is going to be here. The mailman is coming, and he's going to be delivering the news here, part of that stuff. Uh, I believe Rio is going to be here. So I, I've got to make sure the place looks good, man. And I have not done much on here all summer because there's been no football. So, you know, I've got rid of all the leaves and cleaned up and everything else. Got the cushions over there set up and cleaned and together. You know, I got some flowers and some plants, you know, to make the zoo look good. And, uh, you know, you definitely want to look good in case the ladies come. And, guys, don't be upset about the ladies coming to the man cave because I'm going to tell you, it's nice to have a few ladies in the man cave because you get too many guys in there. You know, it starts to beef in there. It, get, it gets a little bit funky in there. The ladies, they come in here, you know, smiles. They make the place look all nice and pretty. You know, they smell good and everything else. And you definitely, definitely want to have the ladies in the place. and You want them to be comfortable in here. And uh, I'm, I'm very proud of my space here, of my, my desk that I've built. And, uh, you know, I got my cowboy chair, thanks to uh, uh, Joseph Heatherly over there. We'll have another chair over here. You know, we got the mic set up here. So this feels like it's ESPN set up or something like that, except with the real news and things. And speaking of real news, um, I have been inundated with so many Eagle fans and so many comments from Eagles and all that about all of the great things that they have done for their team to get it together. Um, you know, literally Philly 500 every day he's telling me about, you know, the Cowboys stink. Dak is the only thing that you got better than us. You know, uh, Zeke Elliott, he's done. Now you lost Tyron Smith. Your offensive line is ass. You know, we got the best running attack in football. Jalen Hurts is going to be a top five quarter. You know, I literally, I, I, I have the gambit of there. I've got Eagle fans literally saying they're going 17 and 0. And I can understand why if you listen to ESPN or if you listen to my son, Philly 500, because Philly, you know, he is constantly telling you how great every move that the Eagles make and how good it is, you know, when they make it. But I'm here to say one thing about that. Don't believe the hype. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype just yet. Because he, let, let me... Philly, uh, son, okay, Let, let's just take this for an example here, okay? The Eagles get Trey Sherman. Let's get Philly 500's response. Uh, you, you can already see how he looks, right? You, you can see how happy he is, right? Again, 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 in a shocking move yesterday, the San Francisco 49ers cut running back Trey Sherman, a third-round pick in 2021. Well, guess who just picked him up? Okay. Like, oh, my God. Dallas still stinks. You're by the way, King Ding back here, and I got to tell you guys this. I don't know if I've ever seen a team get so much better after their initial 53-man roster was released. Howie do that again, again, and again. The Eagles just got the running back they needed. Now, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure to like. More importantly, make sure to subscribe for daily Eagles content, NFL content. You're definitely not going to want to miss it, especially because we're streaming every Eagles game. And if you've been subscribed for and a while, we'll be streaming him deal, streaming every Eagles double game. double check, double moonwalk Double check, moonwalk And make check. sure you're still subscribed. And, so, and that, that goes for you guys, too. Go one over of there and the troll that we have been talking about, and I've really kind of been harping on, is the fact that Harpin I think the Eagles right. need another back. I think they need a back who is a little bigger, a little phys more physical, a guy to be a complimentary back to Miles Sanders. And guess what? The Eagles just did it. Uh, Jordan Schultz is reporting. Shout out to Jordan Schultz, my man. Pound Eagles, and it is pound, not hashtag are signing running back Gonna get Trey pounded. Sermon to their practice squad per source. The 49ers 2021 third round selection was all Big Ten pick for the Buckeyes and is still just 
21 years old. 21 years old, okay? This is unbelievable. Trey Sermon, 21 years old. Uh, he was a third-round pick in 2021, pick 88. He had 41 attempts last year, 167 yards, one touchdown, 4.1 yards per carry. And let me tell you something. The 49ers were high on him. Mo many people that I was uh, listening to about the 49ers, they were, they were thinking they could keep up the five running backs on the roster. But what happened was Jordan Mason basically was so good that they had to keep him on the roster. Uh, so Trey Sermon is the guy who they get rid of, and he does not make it through waivers. Everybody pretty much knew he wasn't going to make it through waivers. Didn't think the, think about the Eagles picking him up, but they did. And uh, this is a this a great signing. Okay, the guy's what six? He's what is he? Six foot, two hundred fifteen pounds. That's exactly what we need around us. 215, 220 pound back that could get short yardage and do things like that. And by all counts, uh, Trey Sermon had a very good camp with the 49ers. It was just a, it's just a number thing. It was a number thing. So now he comes to the Eagles practice squad. I can't imagine that's going to be very long. Okay. Okay. Let's stop here for a second now. I have been inundated with people, Eagle fans, more importantly, that have been saying that Zeke Elliott, he's done. He's a bum. Oh, my God. You still got Zeke Elliott. You need to cut him. What's funny is, as people keep talking about Zeke Elliott and we need to cut him, he averaged 4.2 yards a carry. After starting the first five games, excuse me, four games a season, averaging 5.3. After averaging 4.8 the first eight games, the fourth game of the season, he ended up tearing his PCL. So he literally was on one leg running. And from scrimmage, had over 1,200 yards between running the football and catching. You would think, by the way and the joy and the excitement that Philly 500 has right there, that they were signing Frank Gore from the 49ers when he was still in his 20s. You, you just, oh, my God, we just got – the guy's got 167 yards in his career. He was a third-round draft pick, and they were like, you know what, it's time to move on. Time to move on. And, and that's, this isn't the only it, – it, it, have you noticed there's a pattern here with my son, Philly 500? Everything is the greatest move in the world. And that Howie vision, oh, my God, Howie, he's incredible. Like, last week when they traded J.J. Arthea Whiteside to Seattle for Ugo Amani. You know, as Philly 500 says, you know, it's like a, like a shoot, like a suit, man. I got my Ugo Amani on. So he traded straight up for those guys, right? So they took Armani – and they traded him to the Texans, I think it was. And they get the Texans' sixth pick, but they also sent the seventh pick with it. So, when it's all said and done, you took a second-round draft pick, wide receiver, and basically you swapped a sixth and a seventh for him? That's all you got? And that's a great move? See, here's the thing that's funny. And this is why, you know, Cowboy fans, we get like, man, the Eagles, man, they keep signing people, man. They get so much better. We ain't signing nobody. Because when we draft a guy in the second round, he, he's like digs. We're not swapping him for a sixth or seventh. You, you feel me? When we get a guy in the first round, we're getting the Micah Parsons. You feel me? When we get a receiver in the first round, it's a C.D. Lamb. It's not like Jalen Rhaegar. You know, Rhaegar, they, they finally unloaded him. He was a first-round pick. So when you draft and they don't pan out, you're forced to go out and then sign guys in free agency like A.J. Brown. We got an A.J. Brown and C.D. Lamb. We end up getting, you know, our uh, Trey Simeon, 
by drafting a Tony Pollard. And as much as they talk about Zeke Elliott being done, I'll take Zeke Elliott over this guy anytime. Because here's what's funny. Here's what's funny, son. You know, I, I, I've got, I, I got all of you Eagle fans that are climbing all over me. But, but honestly, you know I'm right. Early in the 2010s, you did great. You got Brandon Grimes, you got Fletcher Cox, you got Lane Johnson. Three incredible players. But everything else you've done on there is either we have to wait and see or has been a bust. Danny Watkins, nada. Marcus Smith, out of the league in two years. Nelson Aguilar. Aguilar became the meme for Philly for regular. Carson Wentz. Now, they did get one good season out of him. He did at least bring back some trade value. But, you know, the Cowboys ended up getting Dak in the fourth round. Didn't give up anything for him. Dak's still with the team. Hmm. Derek Barnett. Derek Barnett is the trigger word for Philly 500. Andre Dillard, a guy they wanted to trade, but he has since broke his forearm, and you're not going to be able to trade him right now. Rhaegar, they just got rid of, and they got Devontae Smith, and we'll see what Devontae Smith does. And at the moment, Philly 500 will even admit that Jordan Davis conditioning is an issue, and he will be a part-time player. So Cowboy fans who want us to be more Eagles-like understand understand that to be more Eagles-like, we have to suck in the draft. See, in the other side of the equation, everybody we've drafted, the 20 picks that we've drafted in the last two years are all still on our roster. We're not having to replace those guys or giving them away uh, and then have to pay somebody else to come in. We got these guys. So we'll see what happens when we get out on the field here and uh, start actually playing. Um, But I'm not ready to believe all the hype of the Eagles, that they are so great and so well built and that Howie vision is incredible. Howie's just covering his ass for where he screwed up before. (laughs) But, you know, what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll. But I love being here with you guys. Peace. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't Hurts. handle the truth. Hurts. Depends. Throws. Pick. Horrible pass. Oh my God. <laughs>